Hey, hey, I am Nor and welcome to Deres De Delusions. This is a quickie, quickie, quick video segment where I talk about upcoming limited gotchas in Starlight Sage every month. And I call it Delusions simply because thinking we, any of us, can predict anything, absolutely anything in this game makes us indeed truly delusional at this point. Yeah. And I don't care if we have Anvoise Noir before Blanc or if SSR 8 is a thing because it is Christmas month, which is not reflected at all by <laughs> the girl behind me. Mayu did not get the memo, but I am so excited. So let's go. Okay. So we're going to start with both the fest boxes and as always the first one is miss symphos blanc now we already got the silhouette for the next blanc from dead and night so uh we know it will be yuzu that's my bad like i didn't have time to crunch this out between dominant and uh the silhouette because we legit got the silhouette the same day as the dominant gacha so i'm sorry uh but we know it's gonna be useless so so yeah but i'm happy she's alive congrats to her for not being dead anymore you know and uh, she's also getting an event with uh, atsumi and noriko too so yeah she really she really said i am back and yeah, with the unvoiced girls going into Noir before Blanc, we only have a three voice girls left to choose from for now on for cute. And one of them is Kwaru, who just got a limb, so she'll be on cooldown for quite a while. We have a bunch of cool and some passion left though, so maybe they'll keep doing just cool and passion until we're done with the voice girls. It remains to be seen. And if anyone is wondering, I did pull for Fest Tsukasa, which we got at the end of October. I was in Japan, so I couldn't stream those polls. But it would have been a short stream since I got her in 20 polls. I'm very thankful. Thank you, Sacho. Now for Noir. I thought for sure we would get Kana in uh, November, but turns out we were treated to bread. Now for passion, which is what we should get for the next noir, the only passion girl who ranked in SFC outside of Tokiko is Eve. And she's already due for her election winner SSR before anything else. She will also not stay unvoiced for much longer, so there's that too. So with that in mind, the passion unvoiced girls I could see based on vibes, <laughs> past election, plus just general fan popularity as far as i see it at least is um sana mary and tomoka don't don't ask me why these are just these are the vibes it's my vibes it's the vibes i'm feeling so i'm gonna convey the vibes to you guys so yeah okay good now for voice passion options because you know maybe maybe they'll throw a voice girl in there uh, again who knows maybe maybe they'll come back I'd guess Shizuku, Risa, and Hinako for a more popular option. I honestly don't know if they want to use Noir as a limb option for less popular girls or not, but that's what I went with, okay? I guess Nina is out there too for a U149 option besides Risa. So, yeah. She, she's not possible. She got a limb in January, so she could still get a fest this year. She's there. Now, for the limbs. Let me just say, I am super excited for this theme, which is, of course, Christmas! <laughs> Eve is, after all, the girl I've been a pee of for the longest. Ever since I got into Cinderella Girls in 2013, I've been her P simply because I love Christmas and her gimmick really appeals to me because of this reason. <laughs> yep, I know I'm a Shin Tanto, but I actually started out with Mika as my voice favorite between 2013 and 2017 before Shin took over completely. Like, I'm not, she's stuck with me now. Like, I'm not leaving her anywhere. Anyways, 
Not a single one of my favorites have a chance at a Christmas limb this year, so we will keep believing in 2024. But I do think there's a high chance we're getting Eve's winner SSR at some point during December. And trust me, we will be polling. Like, you can see the jewel count. She will be coming home. Like, it's happening. Now, as for the skills for the limbs, cool should be overdrive. Cute should be the filler slot and passion should be mutual, I think. Koharu was the mutual last month, uh, which means mutual has lost most of the clout it had and can be given to basically anyone now. At least, at least that's how I see see it. I mean, sorry Koharu piece, but she's not. I wouldn't see, see her as a cloudy girl. Yes, yeah, she's too newly voiced and she wasn't very popular before getting voiced either. So, sorry, uh, that's just how I see it. Feel free to complain in the comments. Okay, anyways, let's uh, start with cool, shall we? As I said, this should be the overdrive card. So a fairly popular girl, most likely. With that in mind, I'm going to guess Kanade, Akira, Anastasia, or because it makes sense with the theme, why not Hijiri? I low-key hope it's Akira because she's behind the other Unicus members in SSRs and it would be nice to have her follow up Akiri from last year. And honestly, Shuku is out there too, I guess, uh, if they want a Lips member that is in Canada. She's out there. Now, for cute, this should be the filler slot, which is highly likely to be Overload now. Uh, because that seems to be the way they're going with Overdrive and Overload being relevant. Anyways, my guesses here will be Frederica, Kanako, Hiromi, and Kosue for a more low-key pick. She just got a solo through the U149 OVA, so maybe they would want to give her some attention because of that. Who knows? Maybe not. I'm still gonna put her here. It's been forever since her last SSR, so yeah. And last but not least, we have Passion. This should, uh, as I said, be the mutual card. And I'm going to guess Risa, Nagi, Akane for theme repeat since her first limb is technically a Christmas limb. But does it look like it? No, it does not. And last but not least, Hinako. I guess there's a small possibility that Eve will be here. But I do think her winner SSR will be in a separate box run at some point during this month. And finally, we have reached the new girl on the block, aka Dominant, or as I would like to call it, the Dom Gudge. Um, we now have a one Dom card for each attribute, with Mayu being the first Passion Dom card, which means we're probably going back to Cute as the secondary attribute. So I guess we'll see a Passion or Cool Girl here this month. Uh, but honestly, I think it's probably a passion girl since um, the last one was cool, cute. So I think we'll likely see passion cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's what I think. That's that's my bad. I'm betting on passion cute. Okay, so I'm going to guess on since this is now the home for the cloudy girls this is where they end up i'm going to guess on kanade and anastasia for cool slash cute options because it can happen it can happen like i don't yeah i'm not gonna rule cool out especially not while we're going into free poll time because the cool girls they're always popular and um, for passion slash cute options, I'm gonna go for Shoko or Kirari. And that's it. I personally hope that we get the finals event this month too with a Christmas theme. And you know, uh, they've promised us a costume with that event. So maybe a Christmas costume for the top five, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments who you think will show up. Who do you want or don't want to show up? Are your savings gone? Let me know. I want to know. Tell me the tea. Anyways, as always, please subscribe for more Idol Master content. This has been Nor. Merry Idol Christmas. And thank you for watching. Do, do, do.
Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do